We got a Honda Civic. We got one. We got one. It's not our first one, but it's a Honda Civic. It's orange. It's awesome. It's uh, sought by cheapest, buy now, sight unseen. And what I'm about to show you in the engine bay is properly old and f but it's okay because we'll be able to fix it. Check this out. Hello, mate. Did you just refer to me as old and No, mate. Because I'm only one of those things. You can work out which one it is. Put Martin, it in we're going there. It's been about 10 years, but this is what happens when you sort by cheapest. You buy something off the internet, and when half your car comes on a pallet, you know it's a good deal. Martin, how much does a Honda Civic cost these days for a running one? A good one? Yes. The ones that everyone wants are like seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000. And you can double that if it's got a snail on it. We're talking sixteen, seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000. Yep. And Crazy. there's not many good ones left. The only ones that are left that are like under that price, automatic, sedans, low spec ones that no one wants. Uh, so we bought this as an unfinished project, a project that we're gonna finish. That's right. It's not unfinished unless we don't finish it. What? No, it's... We'll finish we're it. Gonna, we're gonna finish it. So, here's some of the car. We haven't looked through it yet, but we're going to because half of the car is in the car. The <laughs> other half of the car is on a pallet over there that we're going to show you. Uh, it comes with a B16. So, that's, I mean, get your Bellissimo on. It's gonna be amazing. Martin, let's have a look through. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we need. Then we're gonna buy some stuff. You guys are coming with us. We're gonna disrespect the absolute shiz out of your nose. <laughs> Honda Civic. <laughs> you, left some, you left some grease on there, dude. Sorry, man. So this is a beast. What? <laughs> what? Everyone on the internet swaps in big block 2.4 liters. Apparently they're called K-swaps. Oh. So I got a 2.4 liter engine. Oh, that's um, cool. To put into our Civic. Really? No, I didn't. The car came with a V16. I actually found that Civic because I just had like save searches on for mad engines, mini engines, B16s, which is what's in your mini, B16B. We didn't get that. We've got a big B16A, which is out of a CRX or a Dell Sol. A Dell Sol. So the B16A is the version we got in Australia. The B16B is like the proper JDM one yeah, or something. Yeah, and there's that a right? B16A, I believe, also came out in a VTIR Civic, which is like a rarer one that has all the VTEC. Uh, so it's a swap that was unfinished. That car originally had a D-Series, just the basic motor that's in it, um, owned by a couple of P-platers. Uh, went through a couple of P-platers and ended up as an unfinished project where the guy who owned it had just got another car that was cooler and sort of left it. And so I found this on Marketplace for cheap, unfinished project, um, sought by cheapest buy it now. We have not looked in this car yet. Haven't looked at it all. It arrived on a tow truck. The pallet was on the tow truck also. Got that off, rolled it in here, and haven't seen anything else. I've been waiting until it was actually gonna happen for real in real time with you and me. We didn't even meet the owner of the car. So it, it, it was literally, hey dude, we want your thing. It wasn't even, I do that, but that actually means doo -doo 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 -doo. And then a tow truck was sent and brought it here. We have not looked inside the car so that we can do it the first time with you guys. So I suggest what we do, Martin, is we see what's inside it. We look under the seats and have a good old, and then lay out everything that we've got, um, get, the, uh, get the engine ready, and then just start writing a list of all the things that we need to buy. Well, I can tell you straight away, there's a lot missing. There's like, it doesn't have any injectors in it. Like, where are the injectors? There's no injectors. There's, there's no vacuum lines. There's, there's like a throttle, there's, there's no T, like the, the plug on the TPS is broken. And that's just looking at the engine, which is the stuff I can see. Like no spark plugs either? Is it? Oh no, they're down in there. They're down Don't know, in there. but there's Just heaps missing, missing like the pieces. belt, like this is, it's not, it's not good. It's gonna be tricky. But the test is, can you, if you can't buy a Civic for the seven, eight, nine thousand dollars can you buy one for less than half that in pieces, full Lego spec, and put it back together and end up having a car that's as good as something you could have paid two or three times for? So if at the end of this, we get this appraised or we sell it or we do whatever it is we need to do, we, got, we want to work out, can you make an $8,000 Civic for $8,000? Or are we <laughs> going to be spending three grand on this? Are we three grand deep already? 
Three grand in the hole, yeah. Okay, three grand in the hole. And then will it cost us another fifteen thousand dollars to make a car that's worth seven? Well, no, because if you bought your fancy Civic for seven grand, you'd be doing cool mods to it anyway, right? Like that's for a stock one. That's like a good stock one. All right. But what about one that's full internet spec? Keep going. Okay. Yeah, at the moment keep going. So we'll do stuff, you know, we'll do some nice mods and do some cool civic specific stuff, which is fun. There's heaps of parts out there for civics. Let's see There's how so much money many. we can lose. <laughs> sure. Let's have a look inside the car. Right. Inside, Martin, it doesn't look too bad, does it? No, nah, it looks pretty good. Apparently, this center console thing here is worth money and quite rare. Oh, I want to look inside that. Yeah. I want to look inside there. But Martin, let's start. The, in the inside's not, not too bad. It smells like it does smell real bad. Similar to the genitalia that Civics often smell like. I'm not trying to be funny. They often yeah. smell like genitalia. Not as bad as our first Civic. That was that was that was, that was next level. This just smells a bit froggy. Mum, this this car has sat somewhere for a long time because this this rear here is covered in hay and spot. That's a lot of spider man. That's a lot of that's a lot of spiders web. If I'm not mistaken, they are disc trailing arms because I'm pretty sure this has drum brakes. Yeah, she's got drums on it, but the rear disc brake conversion on these I think is quite straightforward and that's mad. So that was something I thought we might have to do, but nice. Well, nice. there you go. Cool. That's a bonus that we didn't think we were going to get anyway. That's so right. there's two of those, Martin, which is good because two is what we need. In the back, uh, we've got, oh, someone's like made a little bit of a, uh, made a little bit of wood. There's a seatbelt. Now, where are we missing the seatbelt? Oh, the seatbelt's everywhere. <laughs> So why is that there? Or is that a centre seat bolt? I have no idea. Can you fit three people in the is back of the seat? Is that bolted in? Oh. Spare seat bolt. No, spare seat bolt. Subs. Oh, right. Yes. Subs. P plate life. That one there. Look at that. They've done a decent job of that. It's like sitting in a little, oh, it's in a a little thing. The jack. I'm just, as usual, Martin, I just want to get straight into that. We're still connected. Can you give me a hand, man? Just maybe works. sit that thing over there. I wonder if it still works. We just want to, um, or maybe I should just undo oh, this. Oh, they have made a thing. Oh, it's got like a big plywood floor in it. Big yeah. Floor in it. I wonder if it's bolted down. No, oh, it's not. It'll come up, dude. All right, so that one there can come out. Yeah. You should put that sub in your K-truck, Martin. Oh, it's not going to happen. Oh. All right. Dude, we got a free test light. A test light? No, test, oh. not test, test light. But you'd be quite excited about a free Tesla, Martin. Like this, this is coming out anyway, isn't it? Yeah, like this is just... <laughs> I'm gonna chop it. Chop it. Yeah. All right, so in the back, what kind of freebies did we get? I don't, think I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna want subs in this vehicle, so I'm quite happy to chop, chop. Like 17 year old me is like, what are you doing? Why would you do that? You got subs, bro. What are you doing? That can go. All right. What do we got, Martin? There you go. That's, That's handy. Thanks, Elon. Oh, for you. Yep, good. There's not much in here, Martin, actually. There's it's a bit of clean. trim. Oh, look, there's a Coles, there's a Coles receipt. There's a Coles receipt. Coles is like a supermarket. What did they buy? There's some straws from a Slurpee, which is like a, you know, a Slurpee. Dude, this is, this is, a, is this a typical Honda owner's lunch? Coles Bakery Lamington. Yeah. Chopped Turkish Delight. Uh -huh. Swept soft drink, one litre, trail yep. mix, and spring water. Is that it? And that was at 11 o'clock at night two years ago. Okay. What I can tell you, Martin, in Campbelltown, is we are going to go to the supermarket. Oh, we're going to buy the exact same stuff when it's time to eat, and we're going to eat that while we work on this so we yes. can intermingle with the spirit of the previous owner of this yes. car. Yes. And then maybe a kebab for dessert. That sounds good. All right, I'll keep that receipt aside then in that case. Mum, that's all there is in the back. There's, no, there's nothing else. This, like this really is a bit ratty, isn't it? Like the seats and stuff. Yeah. The seats are grot. Yeah. They might need to be removed. Well, we got to work out, are we turned into a track car, a street car, a bit of everything car? Like, let, what are let, we the, do let the spirit of the, the Honda let it decide. guide us. Yeah, it will educe it from us. And what? So, e e so the, the word is that like ejecting. Uh, it's like an ejaculation of knowledge. The word education. No, no. Ejuice means to draw out. Is that it's Latin Greek or, or it's Latin Greek. or maybe it's German? I don't know. So education means to draw out of you, not to give to you. So oh. this car will ejuice its own future through us. I think something. It's literally this car will be juicing us inside the car. It's going to draw it out of us. Draw what out? The juice. Cheryl's here. 
Mum, those wheels, I need to show you because I have a long-standing relationship with these wheels. With Let, racing fear? With racing fear. Let me show you. So this is my 180SX from back in the day. It's a CA front end, but it was actually a blacktop SR20. And uh, did a like a Type-X rear end on. It's got a Vertex kit. But Martin, are you ready? Are you ready? Look at this, dude. Racing fear. <laughs> Racing fit, it's the same. These yes. may even be off my 180SX. <laughs> I actually thought they were pretty cool in the day. Uh, now I'm not so sure at all. Yeah, but I mean, you've got to remember there, it was heaps harder to get wheels. Yes. Like 20 years ago, or whatever and it was. So like, expensive. Yeah, expensive. And you know, people in Japan were still paying big money for them new. It looks pretty cool, man. How much would that be worth now? I've, I've saw thrashed ones for like. $20,000. I reckon 35 any day of the week and maybe more depending on Look at it. what else is and out there. Was, oh, so and it's all about so what else good. is out there because that's why this is a thing. And this was, yeah, like a couple of months ago, I think maybe. Look at the head unit. Like that was technologically advanced. I thought that was kind of fairly modern and fairly cool. That's how long ago that was. Anyway. Let's see what else is in uh, there. Martin, there appears to be something in the passenger seat. Apparently there's a couple of tubs in here, like I asked the old owner. Um, why would we have a tub if we never had an Evo? Anyway, apparently all the bits are in here. So everything that's missing, apparently nothing. He's up on the Juco, mate. Apparently, apparently, everything that's missing is in the car. Really? Apparently. Ooh, that's heavy. Oh, nah. 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 This. Bananas? What's it sound like? So, it's what's what does that? that thing do? What's that? That was attached to the exhaust manifold. I don't know what that is. It suits you. Oh, question is, Martin. Does it fit? Yes, it does. Martin, let's have a look in here, mate. Right? This here, let's bring it out. Let's bring it out into the straight from a wrecker. Bring it out. Look at that. Can, can you grab that? Is it really heavy? Oh, oh wow, heavy enough to be annoying. Look, I see, I'm seeing. Oh, the EC. Is that EC? Yeah, that's massive. What have we got? All right, so on the ground. All right, so we've got. Big, that's a good thing. A couple of shafts. Cool, that's good. I think these things are like an intermediate brake shaft. Booster? Yes, dripping with fluid. Just I'll have to go back and have a look at the for sale ad and see power windows. Oh, is it manual windows? Maybe it is. Manual windows, dude. Oh, so that's a little that going there. Well, it's, no, it's not going like there, is it? But yeah, that's where it's, it's supposed meant to, to go, go like that. Maybe yeah. we can get new door trims. Yeah, you can, I'm pretty sure you can do like auto window conversions and that's a thing on these. What else have we got? Look at that, look at the size of these ECUs, dude. It's a FZ. Don, 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 she, you can, I don't know. Distributor. Hopefully that's something we can just throw in the bin because they suck. That's cool, silicon hose kit, that might be handy. There'll be specific Specific hoses and mounts and stuff is my limited understanding of B16 stuff is that to make it fit this particular car You've got a mess like it's a cool. That's not thing. actually meant to go into that car did, did a version of this a version of this never came certainly in Australia with that engine No, right? VTIR did but dude, it's like there's VTIR EK, is like a sedan. There's EK ones fours nines I don't know. There's enough on the, the internet will the know. internet knows. Yeah this though Oh, is probably the most interesting thing that came oh, with it. Oh, Martin. Oh, it looks like that has four things going into it, and that has one thing coming out now, of it. Now, whatever would you need that to get four bits of exhaust from your four cylinders into one thing? Oh, Martin. But that's okay, put that down. There. That's just yeah, too let's, exciting. Let's, that's just, too exciting for let's, now. Let's crawl first before we boost. Um, valve cover thingy, I guess. Um, in, oh, injectors. What's this? Just. just Weird collection of stuff. Now this this would be perfect for your RS3, but not so good for Honda. What's I wonder what RC Racing is? It's like it's a top feed injector, but the seals are wrecked on them, so they're not going to work. What does it say here? Six four four ah oh, four forty cc injectors. Okay, okay, cool. That's good, I guess. 
maybe, if you're into B16 stuff. More brake stuff, or is that a clutch thing? I don't know. I don't know, because Honda. Oh, and a key. Maybe that's, maybe there's an immobilizer or something. I don't know if it's new enough to have that, but often that's why you get a spare key barrel. Okay. Or maybe the one that's in the car is totally rooted. Some engine mounts. Mum, this get... is actually gonna be a bit of a big job. Like, as in there's a lot of stuff to do. This ain't no RS3, plug a laptop in and vinyl wrap the roof and go chop some pools. Which is pretty fun too. This is gonna be like a big job. But, but, the beauty of some Honda stuff is a lot of it's good quality and a lot of it's super Lego. Mm. Like Subarus of the same era, it's just oh, that everything fits everything. So, with some mixing and matching of engine mounts, which we had to do with your Mini or Too Sexy or both. Yaris Make Hilton? mounts and stuff. Yaris Hilton we had Yaris done. Hilton, yeah, that's right. So. It's mixing and matching, but that motor will definitely fit. It, it, it has been done a million times, and so I'm confident that it'll work. It's a clutch slave thing and boot by the looks of it. So, what else we got? Alternator, another injector. What is that? Oh, there's an injector inside the rear engine mount. That must be a factory stock one. They're probably rooted. And that looks like it goes in the back. That looks like it's that. Now, now why we have two of them? And how different are they? It looks like there's another thing on it. We'll work All out, things man. we're going to work out. Um, no Honda experts, man. We are the Honda experts. Are we? We are the Honda experts I'm not. for this video. Well, I'm not either. Yeah. So it's going to be either funny or we're just going to smash it. It's going to work mad. We have some experience with Hondas, though. A little. A little. Probably not enough, but we'll make it work. Martin. More injectors. We've got a lot of stuff, but we should actually go and buy some more. Yeah. Well, we're going to need some bits. So the this car is 20, how many 20 years old? 20, 98 model? 98 model. 20, coming up on 23 years old? Yep. In a couple of months. There's a good chance, like, I can see straight away that the brakes are shite. The suspension will be worn out. It's got, like, lowering springs on it, um, leaky shocks. Wheels and tyres are shite. Wheels and tyres are shit. That stuff that I reckon on a car of this age, a car like this deserves it. And the beauty of it being a Honda is that stuff is everywhere and it's not expensive. And, and it fits. And you can buy it, like there's heaps of different versions of it. You can get all this cool adjustment into it. Arms, upper arms, lower arms, um, shock absorbers, coilovers, whatever you want. There's so much. Fun. Can we make oh. the interior good too, Martin? Because right now it's kind of an uninspiring place to be, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little. Like it just... It smells like a frog's ball sack. It doesn't, it doesn't, like we, look at, look at the amount of spiderweb in it, man. We probably should as well, like we found with the Jimny, which actually had lots of, like, actually dangerous spiders in it that could kill you. We should, like, give it a proper clean up as well. Yeah, I reckon maybe even some new carpet, man. Like, there's no need, there's no reason not to make it inside mad. I don't know about back seats if we even need them, but we can, we can look at that. Does it have a stair? It's got a head unit in it. It's got a head unit and... 10 cents and nothing in there except for this. There's a couple of other things on the back seat that we should put. Is there? Yeah, I noticed it's got no oh, radiator, but it looks like maybe it does have a radiator. Here you go, Martin. Here's a little, um, that's all. Has anyone, else's car, has anyone else's car started like this? Like, did you buy an unfinished project? Not like a running, working car that you then modified, but literally something that was in pieces with everything inside the car. Take that, if you Martin. have, tell us. I want to hear about it. Oh, it's like a shifter. It's a shifter thing. Oh, the other side of the shifter. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's like a short shifter thing. I've run out of hands. Um, radiator? It has a radiator. That's good. It's like it's new. Reasonably new. Oh, and a thermo fan too. Oh, but no plug on it. Yeah. The other thing I noticed, which might be a problem for us, when you were inside the engine bay is it looks yeah. like what'd you find yeah. <laughs> energy drinks the civic owners are the nutrition of choice <laughs> trail mix and energy drink it's all you need the other thing i noticed oh is God. wait i gotta show the people something that's important this so hello i'm the loon that probably goes to an ecu or something somewhere or supposed to and so it looks like the old engine's just been cut out and I don't know how intact the loom on the engine over there is. So we'll probably end up doing some custom wiring or some aftermarket ECU stuff anyway, just because I love doing it. Tune it up, make it mad. And then if that ever gets used, much easier to make it all happen. We got some free vice grips, Martin. Who wants a kingpin card? A bowling card? 
10 pin bowling. It's not as big here as it is in America, I understand, but we still got a few bowling alleys. What's your best score at bowling you've ever got? Have you ever cracked 200? No, I don't know what that means. Okay. I'm scared sometimes looking inside ah, them. What is that? It's just a receipt that I think someone's blown their nose on. You know when you're driving along in your car and you need to blow your nose but you've got nothing but a fuel receipt? No. Okay. I usually neither. use my t-shirt. This here is, um, what did they buy? I thought it was a time slip. I got really excited. They bought a double dozen, whatever that is. I don't know what a double dozen is, but it cost oh, it's $30. Krispy Kreme. Is it? It's Liverpool Krispy Kreme. They oh yeah, double dozen donuts for thirty bucks. Oh yeah, look, the, oh, it says all that's left is Cream Australia Liverpool store. <laughs> Krispy Kreme, that was huge. When Krispy Kreme first opened in Australia, there was like lines for like hours to go and buy a donut. It was a real thing. That's perfect. And Martin. now everyone's sort of just used to it, and donuts aren't as popular. But that's cool. We got a radiator. So we have a radiator, CV shafts, injectors, some engine mounts. Dude, this might actually be. A finishable, unfinished project. What do you think? Uh, it looks like it. It looks, it looks like we have what we need, but we need more. This, like we need to actually make it cool. This bothers me a little bit. And what I thought the best thing to do might be, mm. we know we got to put an engine in it. We know we've got all this sort of stuff. Yes. We also know that the shocks, like that side is just collapsed and rooted. It so is. I reckon we get that stuff. I, I reckon we should make it look mad too. Are we gonna like paint it? Oh yeah, uh, we should make it look good. I want to. I want to put. I'm deciding that we're going to put some coilovers and, and better suspension and brakes in because suspension and brakes is important no matter what, right? That it works. Yeah. We're just yeah, going to yeah. do that. That's yes. just going to happen. And then it's just got to make. It's just got to make Honda noises. It's just got to be V techy. Yeah. It's got to be just pinging. Bah, 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 bah. And then we've got to take it. it and do some track days. And then we've got to buy our trail mix and other stuff from the supermarket. And then we've got to buy some donuts. We, we need to relive the previous owner's spirit, even though they're probably still alive. Uh, and then we need to make this car get to the place that it needed to get to. I'm not as scared of this as I have been of some other project. The stuff actually looks reasonably good. I'm not scared. I think that the previous owner has bought the right stuff there is definitely things missing and there's definitely some mods that we're going to do regardless of civic friendly mods pull some stuff apart clean it throw out some of the crap and make it mad yep and then i can definitely can you smell that i smell a battle on the horizon which is the honda civic with a b16 versus my classic mini with the b16 battle that's a pretty fair fight and whichever one loses gets sold or given away Ooh. To a fan. Oh. Unless the mini loses. All right. And then no one gets anything. We're leaving it there. Next episode, we're going to get a bunch of stuff. We're going to start pulling this don't stuff Don't tell them what we're going to do because we don't know. We don't know. We don't do. know. And then they'll go, you said you were going to put the dildo shifter in and you didn't, for example. But oh, next episode, things will happen on the car <laughs> and, um, and it's going to be good. So there it is. Mighty Car Mods, Honda Civic. You can still find nuggets. Yeah. They're out there. They are. That said, how long ago did we buy well, this? Well, this is classic hot rodding, is it not? What? You know, back in the day, you bought a hot rod. A lot of people are shaking their head right now, going, that's not hot rodding. Oh, isn't it? But now, but now that COVID got so crazy, that's not $3,000. Wouldn't someone else pay like double that already just for this as a thing? The engine is worth more than $3,000. Okay. In Maybe if you had it in altogether. But B16s are getting harder to find. A yep. lot of people are case swapping now. We're going to case swap it. We're going to go with the purity. Yes. I can't believe I just said that. We're going with the purity on, on the Civic. Get yeah. yourself a purity shirt on the Mighty Car Mod shop. Click the thing. Yes. Um, we're going to keep it pure. We've got it. It's what it came with. And I think actually in terms of value, which is what we're going for with this, like high value, low cost, mad Civic, some nice classy mods. Yeah. I should not use the word classy and Civic together, should I? No. No. no some no, nice mods. Not. They're going to make this thing just fun to drive. I'm really looking forward. I've never actually like owned a proper Honda that's kind of fast. Really? S2000? That was yours? We did the original Honda Civic with the PVC roll cage. That was D-Series engine. No one mm -hmm. got time for D-Series unless it's turboed. All the D-Series people are like, D-Series is sick. There Who it is, Hondas? everybody. Who loves Hondas as much Thank as Thank you I very much. Hondas. See you soon. Uh, we're going to go down to the shops and we're going to buy uh, this um, list of stuff. Thank you very much. See you next time. If you do want to support the show, uh, you can get T-shirts. We don't take Bitcoins. We just take normal <laughs> money so we can buy stuff from Coles. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Disrespect your nose. Disrespect everyone's nose, particularly Martin's. Bye, everyone.